Hey guys, today we are going to look at a very strange place called Baksei Cham Krong in the Angkor Wat complex in Cambodia. This is a very strange site because this is the only stepped pyramid in this temple complex. This pyramid in Cambodia is almost identical to the pyramid found in Mesoamerica. There's a pyramid in a place called Tikal, and that pyramid looks not even similar, but almost identical. The Tikal pyramid is in the country of Guatemala in Central America, and this is roughly 10,000 miles from the Baxay Chamkrong pyramid in Cambodia. But when you look at them side by side, it's mind-boggling. There's no doubt they were both built by the same builders. Or were these two civilizations separated by 10,000 miles, contacting and communicating with each other using advanced technology, just like what we do today? How else do you explain these similarities? Look at the construction style in both pyramids. The masonry is the same. Make rectangular blocks of stone and place them on top of one another. Look at the basic design. Not even similar, almost identical. Both of them are pyramids. Both of them are stepped pyramids. Both of them have a staircase laid out in the center. Both of them have a dome-like structure on top. Both of them have a doorway in the center of that dome, perfectly aligned with that staircase. It's impossible that all these similarities are a result of mere coincidence. Think about this. If these two structures were constructed within a 10-mile distance or a 100-mile distance, archaeologists and historians would swear they were built by the same builders. However, simply because they are separated by 10,000 miles, experts now swear this is a pure coincidence, built by two completely different civilizations which had no contact with each other. But there are more shocking similarities. Both of them have secret underground structures waiting to be unearthed. Look at this pit in front of the entrance. Locals say this is not a pit. This is an underground tunnel which is caved in. Just by looking at it, we know if we dig in deep enough, we will be able to access the underground area. Look at these small mounds protruding here. These are covering the columns or other tall structures of the underground. This is not a natural formation. These clearly indicate that there is an underground structure in Baxay Cham Krong Pyramid. In 2018, laser technology was used in Guatemala, especially around Tikal, and believe it or not, plenty of structures were found underground baffling archaeologists. So this is another remarkable similarity, and we have not fully understood why these pyramids have been built. There must be some connection between underground structures and pyramids, because even the Giza pyramids in Egypt have a huge system of underground chambers, tunnels, and even artificial caves. See, experts today, they're not even willing to take a minute and think about why these pyramids have been built. There must be a scientific reason. The pyramids must have served a purpose in ancient times which we don't understand today. But we're not done yet. There are more similarities between Baxay Chamkron and Tikal. Both ancient pyramids have an unusually steep slope. This is very, very hard to climb, as though it was not built for humans to climb it. Most people do not climb this pyramid because you cannot walk up. You have to be on all fours and literally crawl your way up. 
Same thing with Tikal. The slope is just really steep and you have to use your hands and feet to climb the Tikal temple. The Tikal pyramid is not isolated. It's surrounded by several other temples nearby. It is part of a larger temple complex. Baxay Chamkrong pyramid is also surrounded by temples. It's part of the Angkor temple complex. If we make an aerial comparison between the two, we may be able to find more similarities. To have such remarkable similarities, the builders must have used the same plan, the same blueprint on both sides. But what is the connection between Baxay Chamkrong in Cambodia and Tikal in Guatemala? Experts say that Hindus built Baxay Chamkrong and Mayas built Tikal, and they're two completely different people. However, the name Maya itself is a Hindu word. It means illusion or magic. How did the Mayans get their name? And how did their civilization start? And how did they start building these amazing structures? This is explained in Indian texts. There is an architect, a master engineer called Mayan. Yes, in Tamil language texts, he's called Mayan with the same name. He is known with many other names such as Mamuni Mayan or Mayasura, but he's basically known as Mayan. He is the one who must have traveled out of India and built these amazing structures all over Asia in Cambodia and then traveled all over South America and finally settled down in Central America. This is how the civilization in Central America got the name Mayan. Believe it or not, this story is actually confirmed by a Mayan text called Popol Vuh. If you read that book, it mentions how a specific god arrives from the east. This must be Mayan himself, and he must have been the mastermind behind building all these brilliant Mayan structures. This is why the Tikal Pyramid looks so similar to the pyramid in Cambodia. Do you know the word Tikal or Tigar means to shine in Tamil language? Do you know the Tikal pyramid shines or looks illuminated even during nighttime? These are not coincidences. The Mayan civilization and Hindu civilization share the same root. The architect Mayan must have started the civilization in Central America. This is why all his followers were called Mayan. People like David Childress, myself, and many other ancient alien theorists believe that it must be Hindus who moved from Asia to other continents and built these megalithic sites. I've shown you so many Hindu structures in the country of Colombia as well. But archaeologists have one important point which goes against this view. They believe that Baxay Chamkrong was built around 900 AD and Tikal Pyramid was built much earlier than that, at least a few centuries earlier. And this is very interesting because if Mayan and his people moved from Asia to Central America, then Baxay Chamkrong should have been built first, and then the Tikal Pyramid would have been built. However, archaeologists think that the Tikal Pyramid was built much earlier, and Baxay Chamkrong was built around 900 AD. But the key question is, how did experts come to the conclusion that Baxay Chamkrong Pyramid was built around 900 AD? This structure is completely made of rocks and bricks, so it cannot be carbon dated. The dates are nothing more than calculated guesses. 
but there is an inscription here on the sides of this doorway which takes a site back much much older in time you can see it has these beautiful inscriptions in Sanskrit and Khmer it talks about a saint called Kambu who travels from India thousands of years ago and the inscription mentions that he founded the country of Cambodia originally known as Cambodia. Now this is why we have the current name Cambodia and the former name Kampuchea till 1989. So you can see even though there is an inscription written in this pyramid taking it back to thousands, not just 1,000, but many thousands of years ago. Archaeologists do not accept this inscription as a valid historical record because they say this is mere religious mythology. But the evidence is right there on the very site that Baxi Chamrong Pyramid predates the Tikal Pyramid in Guatemala. So it is quite possible it was first built here and then finally replicated in Tikal. So what do you think? Was Baxay Chamkrang and Tikal built by the same builders? Were Mayans originally Hindus? How else do you explain the remarkable similarity between these two pyramids? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I am Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.